Thanks for joining us here on Sun News Live. We now want to foreshadow what we might expect in a criminal trial should the suspect be apprehended alive. Nicole Dubay spoke with legendary criminal defense lawyer Greg Brodsky. She has more details from Winnipeg. If Luca Magnota is ever apprehended alive, there's no doubt in the mind of criminal defense lawyer Greg Brodsky that his trial would be a sensational one. Brodsky says Magnota's lawyer will first have to decide if the accused wants to be found not criminally responsible or go to prison should he be held accountable for his alleged crimes. There are many people who don't want to be found to be wanting in intellect. They want to prove their superior intellect to the people so they don't want uh, not criminally responsible and an insane verdict. Brodsky has litigated over 600 homicide cases throughout his career, including several cases involving dismembered victims. Based on what he knows about Magnota in media reports, he says if this suspect does stand trial, it will be as sensational as ever. And Magnota will certainly want to be the center of attention. Because of the postings uh, that he's put on the board already, because of the... Uh, fact that he's evaded and has evaded successfully so far the uh, police and he doesn't care about uh, society he goes about his own thing the issue will be wherever he is he will want to be in control the big man so he's the big man in Montreal or the big man in Paris or the big man on uh, range four at uh, Kingston of course none of the charges against Luca Magnota have been proven in court. Reporting for Sun News in Winnipeg, I'm Nicole Dubay. Back to you. Nicole Dubay in Winnipeg. Online activists have wanted Luca Magnata behind bars for years. And as the search continues, more disturbing details surface on social media. Gina Phillips has the latest on Magnata's digital trail. For someone who has now seemingly disappeared, Luca Magnata sure left behind an extensive online trail. It doesn't take a lot of online digging to uncover what sites he allegedly frequented. But if his web personas ring true, he was interested in bondage and rape sites, Craigslist for sexual encounters, and had a special interest in white supremacy. He also showed up on websites that focused on necrophilia, cannibalism, among other very disturbing, disturbing topics. Now, the whole white supremacy interest has really spawned a lot of reaction online. People reacting to this tweet that is allegedly from his Twitter account. He tweeted to former KKK leader David Duke that he would support him being president. But one Facebook group in particular is working hard to help police catch Luca Magnata. It's called Find the Kitten Vacuumer for Great Justice. It has nearly 3,000 members. The group was formed a few years ago. It was all part of a social media campaign to catch the person behind those kitten killing videos on YouTube, who they assumed was Magnata. The site has become a goldmine for journalists and surely the police. Take a look at this picture someone posted of him dressed as a woman. His various online pages and personas have been bombarded by hate and anger from people online. Everybody wants to catch Luca Magnata. Back to you. That was our social media correspondent, Gina Phillips, in Toronto.